I started to do experiments of my own. One of them was to make rather large spinning tops with most of the mass in the rim of the wheel. And these very definitely did something that looked impossible. And by 1973, uh, Sir George Porter asked me if I'd do a discourse at the Royal Institution. The Royal Institution is one of Britain's most august centres of scientific learning. a long tradition of inviting some of the nation's leading scientists to give a discourse about their work. The great scientist Faraday himself had been a frequent lecturer, but such was Lathwaite's standing that he too had been asked more than once to follow in his footsteps and address the cream of Britain's scientific establishment. I've given a number of this Lathwaite decided to discuss his new research on gyroscopes. I was very excited about it because I knew I had something to show them that was startling. And I did it rather in the spirit of, come and look what I've discovered, come and share this with me. My closest friend. And it was only afterwards I realised that nobody wanted to share it with me. Well, tonight one of the two... His mistake was to appear to challenge the very foundations of science, even Newton himself. A gyroscope is a curious device in which conventional physics seems to go out of the window. Now, first of all, we spin up the wheel, and it's then what I call live, as opposed to when it's not spinning, dead. So what I'm going to do is to hang this large weight on, and then as it's rotating, hang on the weight, it recesses, it has angular momentum about the vertical, we catch the weight next time round, hop, and the angular momentum just simply disappears, it seems to evaporate. It makes you question the validity of the Newton's third law. Action and reaction are equal and opposite, and this is another experiment that appears to defy conventional physics. And you see, this is not doing what the physics book says it should, because the mass centre is certainly not the centre of rotation. And that's not what is supposed to happen. He only learned afterwards how his audience were taking it all. Go away. There were several things in the lecture that were pure heresy. It won't go away. That is a ridiculous thing to see. To say that an object can rotate in a circle and not produce the full amount of centrifugal force, the man's obviously a lunatic. And the second thing was lifting the big wheel. How do you manage to lift a 50-pound wheel with one hand? There is no way I can pick that up with one hand, not, not above there. I'm not a strong man, I don't need to weight training. But when it's spinning, it's another matter. it and it begins to climb almost on its own no strain on my arm at all there must be some trick it was what people said whereas in fact i knew that once you got this thing processing it appeared to float it did appear to lose weight and, if I and it was this idea that a gyroscope might lose weight that Lathwaite developed in his last experiment, one which was far too heretical for his audience and proved his final undoing. So if the big wheel lost weight, the question is, will these little wheels lose weight when they're turned round and made to precess upwards just like the big wheel? Let's try. Now each time the wheel comes down the wall, you see the needle kick back, it appears to give a lot of weight as with the big wheel. Although we Lathwaite genuinely thought he was opening up a brand new area of research, and that as Britain's most famous engineer, he would be taken seriously. You could use this lot of weight. This is certainly the most exciting experiment. I was simply trying to tell them that, look, here's no good. something very unusual that's worth investigating. No I hope I've got sufficient reputation in electrical engineering not to be written off as a crank. So when I tell you this, I hope you'll listen. But they didn't want to. I don't think we've hardly begun. After the R.I. lecture, all hell let loose, and, and primarily as a result, first of all, of an article in the New Scientist, which was followed by articles in the Daily Press, with headlines such as, Lathwaite defies Newton. And um, the press is always excited by the possibility of an anti-gravity machine, because of spaceships and science fiction. And the minute you say you can make something rise against gravity, then you've made an anti-gravity machine.
and then the floodgates are unleashed on you, especially from the establishment. You've, you've now brought the, the science into disrepute, or you're apparently trying to, because you've done something which is against the run of the tide.